On the Health Watch tonight, researchers believe that a new large study should reassure parents that there is no link between the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine and autism. Dr. Malika Marshall is here. And, Doctor, there are some parents out there who worry that getting that shot will trigger autism in their children. There are, despite the evidence to the contrary. But I think that this study really yeah. should put the issue at rest. This uh, researchers looked at more than a half million kids, something okay. like 650,000 kids, who were born over 10 years in Denmark. And they found absolutely no increased risk of autism with the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine. And in fact, kids who were at higher risk of getting autism, it didn't trigger autism in those kids. Mm. Now, what we worry about is what the World Health Organization says, which is vaccine hesitancy, that is being hesitant to get vaccines, is one of the top 10 global health threats. And so, we know that resistance to getting the MMR vaccine has led to outbreaks of measles recently in this country mm. and abroad. So that really is the issue. You've got to get your kids vaccinated. Please do not worry that vaccines are going to cause autism in your children. All right. A new study from the Mayo Clinic finds that people with sleep apnea may have higher accumulations of a toxic protein in their brain that's associated with Alzheimer's. So previous studies, doctor, have shown a link between disrupted sleep and dementia. And people with obstructive sleep apnea certainly have disrupted sleep. In fact, they stop breathing for periodically throughout mm -hmm. the night. Um, and so researchers looked at 288 people over the age of 65, and they found the ones whose bed partner said, hey, you're, you stop I'm sleeping, sleeping yeah. when, when you're, you stop breathing when you're sleeping, that they had a 4.5% higher level of tau okay. in their brains. Now, tau is a protein that clumps together in patients with Alzheimer's and contributes to the memory loss. But they're not sure what comes first. Is it that people with more tau tend to develop sleep apnea, mm. or people with sleep apnea get more tau so they say you know more studies need to tease that out not to mention you said 288 people four percent it feels like one of those stories where you need to see a bigger study much bigger study and this does not mean if you have sleep apnea that you're going to develop alzheimer's but if you think you might have it or your bed partner yeah. thinks you might have it please get a sleep study all right dr malika marshall thank you so much